Choose to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt ring. Right, the bouncer's guilt ring. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Andrew McCart, IFL TV. I'm here in Manchester, and I've got to say I'm delighted to be joined by Hash Raymond. Listen, just say what you said to me before we pushed record there, that you're a boxing encyclopedia and you watch IFL. You've been watching us for so long and this is, your, this is the first time on IFL. So, yeah, just, just explain who you are and what uh, your record and the gym you're from and whatnot. Yeah, so uh, my name's Hash Raymond, full name Hashim. Uh, originally from Hull, living in Manchester at the moment, but I train at uh, Sean O'Hagan's gym with the likes of Josh Warrington, Maxi Hughes, Rhys Mould and all the rest of them. Um, and what I just said to you about that is that I've been watching IFL since the early days, since I was young, since I was a kid. And uh, as my mate just vouched for me, I'm like an encyclopedia when it comes to boxing, whether that be small hall, the upper level. Anyway, people come and ask me, I've had report, do you like boxing reporters, like, like you're similar to yourselves, come to me and say, who's that? And I'm, I'm telling them who their people are and what, they, what they're about and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, boxing encyclopedia I am. So you're a, you're a boxing fan as well as, as a fighter? Because sometimes you, you can ask some fighters, did you see this fight? And they say, I don't watch much boxing. So do you watch all boxing, whether it be small hall, Sky Sports, whatever it may be? Absolutely everything I go to. Do you like, obviously you'll understand yourself, smaller boxers, they need all the support they can get. I love just, I've made so many friends amongst the small hall circuit that like, I'll just go to all the shows, support my friends, and I'll just learn who people, I'll learn more about who people are, who's coaches, who, who does this? What gym he's from, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, yeah, as as well as being a, a boxer, six and zero lightweight, you know what I mean. But um, I, I'm just a fan as well. Do you know what I mean? I, I love it. I'm gonna pick myself up there because I said, "What weight are you?" And you told me to guess. Yeah. And I was like a boxing like a Peter. And I said lightweight, bang on as well. So listen, we'll probably have a, a chat off camera to see who's got the most knowledge in boxing. Probably yourself, Ooh. to be honest. But I'll, I'll give you that I, one. Because you know I, I know about you. I, I like to say I've watched enough of your interviews. I know you know your stuff. So it's a stiff competition. That <laughs> we'll, we'll sit down one day. I'm sure over a coffee yeah, when yeah, you definitely. listen. Your six knows a pro. Let's get down to a little bit more business. The six six knows a pro. Looking to be seven knows a pro. Lightweight, a division which is notoriously stacked with talent. Whether it be in the UK or internationally worldwide so tough division to be in but I'm, I'm guessing you're excited to be in it absolutely I'm excited to be in it because it's full of skill full of talent but uh, like my friend just said I'm quoting him not saying it myself yeah but I punch like an ox so it the be uh, interesting whoever I get in with well that's it do, do you well obviously for people that don't know who you are Hash obviously do you are you a knockout artist, would you say? Are you a slick boxer? How would you describe yourself for people that don't know who you are? As Sean O'Hagan said the other night, I'm adaptable. Mm. I'm very adaptable because, like, when I, for example, when I spar Josh, he's obviously very strong, comes forward, he's a presence in the ring, do you know what I mean? And uh, when I box him, obviously, there are times where I can use my size a little bit and try push him back a bit, but I, there are other times where I can box on the back foot and I can catch him, I can move, I can counter. I can do that or I can tough it out and have a scrap because as silly as it sounds but boxers will understand sometimes it's fun to just have a stand there and have yeah, a tear up yeah, yeah. yeah. Where, but I also enjoy the boxing catching moving slipping all these kind of things so I'm adaptable is the word well the thing is being a, such a, a young fighter like yourself and only being sectional you've got likes of Maxi Hughes and I love Maxi Hughes' story because he's probably lost some of the in the early part of his career he lost his biggest fights, yeah. Martin J. Ward and Liam Walsh and all these guys, and he was on the verge of quitting and retiring yeah. and calling it a day, but he stuck out, stuck at it, got the John O'Carroll win, and from there, during that lockdown period, just went up and up and up. So he's an inspiration within itself, but yeah. obviously being in the gym of Maxi Hughes and obviously Josh Warrington, who's looking to become a three-time three world three champion. Times. So how much inspiration do you draw from them two fighters? Absolutely. Bundles of uh, inspiration, because like you just said, Maxi, Maxi is the fairy tale story that you that all the young boxers, all small old boxers, we all look up to because everybody's trying to protect the O at the moment. No one wants to put their records on the risk. But he has gone around, boxed everybody, took a few losses, like you say, was contemplating like calling it a day, kept at it and, and he's been on an unbelievable run. Like you say, it started off with John O'Carroll and it's just progressed and progressed. And look at that 
we all know we all watched Cambosis fight. We all know what happened. We all saw the. We know what what happened there. You know what I mean. So, hey, again, massive inspiration. And with Josh, you know, as much as uh, as much success as he's had, just such a lovely person. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely delightful. Joe, when you go, when you speak to him, he is a bit mad. He is a bit mad. But you know, like that 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 like mad leads kind of geezer that he he, he gives off. He also has the other side to him that's just so pleasant and he's just so lovely. But again, the achievements that he's uh, made and like the, the levels he's got to and the people he's boxed, just being around him, it's like I'm just trying to, all I'm trying to do is just soak up that knowledge mm. and soak up everything I know about, everything that he knows about the game. Because obviously, he's been around a long time. Same with Maxi, they've all been around a long time, but I'm just trying to soak up everything that I can from them. And. Uh, it's 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 paying dividends. You know what I mean? It's 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 brilliant. Obviously, like I know you're only six and on as a pro, you're probably yet to fight on the, these big shows at the AO Arena and whatnot. But when you obviously you're you're drawing inspiration from these two fighters, yeah. and I'm going to put you on the spot. Every fighter wants to be a world champion. Can you be a world champion? Right time, right place. I'll be a world champion. I could say, uh, as my friend said over there, a punch like an ox. I'd, I I would. Anybody put anybody in front of me in eight-ounce gloves, I, I will. I'll put Lewis Hart in front of you. Is that all right? Uh, uh, maybe not. I don't know. I, you know I mean, I don't want to be. I don't want to start beefing backstage. You know what I mean? But, but uh, yeah, like I say, eight-ounce gloves. I, I I genuinely believe I could. I can hurt anyone. Obviously, you have got to have the boxing behind it, which I believe I do. You know, and other people believe I do as well. You got to have the boxing behind you. But when I catch people, I hurt people. Do you know what I mean? And. My record doesn't necessarily show all the knockouts and stuff like that, but every person I've been in there with, all the, all the people that I've been in there with, you know, like in the away corner, everybody has said to me, fucking hell, you'll be knocking people out soon. Do you know what I mean? Everybody has said it to me. So. You know yourself, when you're facing these journeymen that know how to survive, they don't open up. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? They don't, have, they don't come with the same ambition as you to try and knock you out. So it's harder for you to find the gaps exactly. because they're high guard, elbows in tight exactly. and it's hard to find the opening so that being said when you do face somebody that has the same ambition as you that wants to take your chin off is that when we're going to see these, these this power that you, you say you've got? 100% because the reason being is that my power is more shown in my sparring like you say when, when, when the journeymen are like covering up and just trying to tighten up especially I will note that a lot of the journeymen I faced are good level journeymen and they'll give people hard tests but I, you can go and watch VIP TV, you can watch my fights, yeah. When I start hitting people, they, they close up, they close up. I've started, I thought men heavier than myself, they close up because after I start hitting them. Um, and my power is more shown in sparring because obviously the people are actually coming to have a proper spar with you. And you know, when you, especially when you spar people outside of the gym and things like that, it's a little, it gets a little bit more intense sometimes. Mm. And when I catch people, they realise, you know, and, and, and I'm not going to say I, I'm absolutely battering people in 14 ounce gloves, but with a massive head guard, but I know I hurt people and I get people's attention and I make them a bit more cautious and I make I keep them on their toes because I can hit, do you know what I mean? Well, I'll tell you what, I'm intrigued and excited to follow your career from now on and I will be following your career and I'll, I'll get your Instagram and whatnot as well. So, But here in Manchester, there's going to be a great night and I know Michaela Myers in the ring and there's going to be a great British title fight with Mark Heffron and Jack Cullen on next. So let's go and enjoy the rest of the nights and listen, hopefully this is the first of many, Hash. Hopefully, it's a pleasure to meet you as well. You too, my brother. Thank you very much. You do not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We need their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 